Pretty much what I was doing at the beginning of class is kind of going over um, a lot of dancing that, at least for me, when I start feeling out dance and just start dancing right away, I feel like I'm kind of just dancing with my body right here and I kind of just rock out. Because um, I feel like sometimes we feel very pressured to like, as soon as we hear music, we need to do like these really cool looking arms, but then we forget like, oh wait, like if I just listen to music and I just vibe out, like it's okay to just rock back and forth because that's kind of uh, some of our initial reaction to music, you know, like if I hear a cool song in my car for the first time, I'm not gonna like do all this stuff. I'm just gonna like, oh, this song's tight. All right, cool. So sometimes if I go into a freestyle circle and I like, I just vibe out to a song, I'll just step in and just like take it easy for a second. And then cool, like what can I add to this? All right, then I can start going ham, like building up to going ham rather than just going into it right away. Dude, uh, Studio 429 meant everything to me. I mean, like, the people that were a part of Studio 429 were just, like, amazing teachers and amazing people. Uh, I feel like what separated Studio 429 from other studios was the, the like, homeliness, or I don't even know if that's a word, but pretty much, like, the comfort and, like, the vibe and the communal, like, sense of, like, support in that studio. As soon as I stepped in, like, studio owner Tammy Seiler was just like, hey, like, welcome! And I'm like, whoa, I feel like, this is like a mom like telling me to come in and like eat some of her food, you know what I mean? Or just like have dinner with her. And then all the teachers that were there that really like inspired me. Uh, Emmett Agape, he was one of the founders of Cookies. Jeff Morales, one of the first directors of Cookies. Tracy Seiler, Ving Nguyen, Keone Madrid, Kristen Aguinaldo. Like, dude, the list goes on and on. There was a lot of residential teachers in there that like you'll see a lot of them are either still doing their thing or a lot of them are kind of just like in life. Like some of them are nurses, uh, they work in a lab or they're biologists teachers they're out there they're out there doing amazing things rather than just dancing um, yeah man the list goes on and on those people were not just great like dancers but they're just great teachers and just inspire people to you know make their own path in life as opposed to like hey I'm a dance teacher do what I'm doing you know what I mean so um, yeah they just really pushed me to just be a better person as well rather than just like focusing on the whole dance aspect at the same time Yes, I can, yes. So um, where that kind of originated from, or at least for me, uh, the first time I heard that saying was my first director, Emmett Agape. He would always be like, if we're going to another show, of course, when our shows weren't always in San Diego, sometimes we'd have to go to Orange County or to LA to perform. And he always talked about cheering on your teammates all the time, no matter where you're at. Um, so that no matter where you are, whether you're performing away from home or you're not, or you're performing away from home, or you're performing back at your home court, like it should always feel like home court. Like, I know we think about sports and we're like, okay, there's like home court, away court. Sometimes you feel a little bit like weird when you're like at someone else's like court playing, but like if your teammates are always supporting you and you feel like that vibe, like, yo, like these people got my back, and uh, whether or not you know them, then it always feels like home no matter what. And that doesn't always have to come from a team, like how in my context, like it was my teammates, like out here at Monday Night Workshop, sometimes like people that don't know each other are cheering each other on. And sometimes people are just visiting from like outside of San Jose and they're like, they don't know what they're getting some, themselves into. And then they have mad fun. They're like, whoa, like then that makes them want to come back all the time. Like, oh man, I don't have to just take class at home to feel like comfortable. I can come out to like San Jose. I can come out to Monday Night Workshop and I can get that same vibe and that same like friendliness as I get back with my own friends. So, uh, but if you're like cheering people on, like you're making them feel comfortable and you're making them like feel like they're at home. Or if you feel like uh, you kind of put yourself back in that mindset of like, yo, like let's just have fun and like let's just share. Um, it just makes it a better environment for everybody. So. Um, I feel like, yeah, especially here in San Jose, like Monday Night Workshop always does a great job of like making sure everybody supports each other. And I feel like that's why they're so successful is because no matter who comes through these doors, whether they're from this area or not, like everybody just feels at home. Even for me, like I'm like, it's eight hour drive, one and a half hour flight. Like I feel at home when I dance here just because of the support. So if you cheer a lot, if you support and you just like love each other as dancers and as people, like it'll always be home no matter where you go. Be the bridge.